Hey everyone, it's your apologetics guy, Mikhail here, and I just wanted to make a quick video today um, because somebody asked me a question about getting started with the financial side of their event. And her question to me was, how much should I charge for my ticket price? How do I figure out what's the best price for me to charge for my event? So in this quick video, I just want to give you a simple formula that you can use today um, to help you figure out what's the best price to charge for your apologetics event. So the first thing you need to do actually before you get into the um, actual formula is to decide you know, how much you're going to spend on this event. What are the costs that are involved? So you got your apologetics speakers, for example, the cost of bringing them out to your event. You have any facilities costs that you might incur from uh, your church or a community center or maybe a school that you're renting out. And then marketing, promotions, um, food, coffee, all that stuff. Put that all together. That's actually the hard part. Once you get the cost down and you know what that number is, applying that formula is really easy. So here's the quick formula that might help you get started. Take your total cost, all those things that we just talked about, Take the total cost that you're going to spend on the event and then divide that by the number of people that you think the minimum number of people that you think will show up at your event. So let's say you have seating capacity for like 500 people and you think, you know what, if our promotions just didn't work and you know on a sad day we'd have like 250 people there. Then you take your total cost and divide it by that minimum number of attendees for your conference. So you get your cost, the total cost, divided by the number of people, the minimum number of people, will give you your ticket price. And so you can put some flex room in there by increasing the cost just a little bit. Um, you can be conservative on the number of people, and you should be able to at least break even on your event. So I hope that tip was helpful to you. I know I asked that question the first time I ran an event, and that was a helpful tip for me. So. If you like this, please sign up for my six-part course called How to Run an Accessible Apologetics Conference. It's a free six-part webinar-style course that'll help you uh, work smarter and not harder when it comes to running your accessible apologetics event. So sign up now at apologeticsguy.com.